Hello and welcome back. We have seen how to build a multiple linear regression model on our salary prediction data set. Before we jump in and make the model too complex, because we have seen an underfitted model uh, when we built a multiple linear regression. So I said uh, we need to make the model complex. So one way to make the linear model complex is by you know doing a polynomial regression. Before we do a code example on polynomial regression, let us try to understand the intuition behind how exactly the polynomial regression works. So if you take your uh, plain data set and then pass it to polynomial features, this is a class present in scikit-learn and specify the number of degrees and include bias, it is going to create a bigger data set like this. Right? We have x0, x1, x2, x0 is a bias term, these all ones. Right? When you pass it to the polynomial features class, it is going to create x1, you know, x1 square, x2 square, and x1, x2. So this is a class which actually makes the data set a polynomial data set. When you pass a linear data set to a linear regression model, it becomes a linear regression where the hypothesis function is a linear equation. Theta 0 plus theta on x1 plus theta 2 x2. That's a linear equation. When we added the polynomial terms x1 square, x2 square, and x1, x2, the x1, x2 is called as interaction term. It actually tries to bring out the insight from both, you know, how much the x1 and x2 combined together are affecting the target variable. So it is called as, it is called as interaction term. Okay. So when you pass it to the polynomial features, it will create these uh, additional terms. The data set expands, the number of columns expand. And then you pass the data set to the linear regression model, the hypothesis function change you to a Second degree polynomial, that means polynomial regression. So when you pass your data set, it gets trained on a polynomial equation. And when you when you have the new data also, you need to apply this, you know, the trains a test set and production also. You need to apply polynomial features class, which creates you know, this kind of expanded uh, data set. And then you need to pass it to the model to make predictions. So the polynomial features, when you pass a n, n column data set, n feature data set and wanted to raise it to d degree, it is going to create n plus d factorial by n factorial into d factorial number of columns. Here the data set has got two columns, right, n is equal to 2 here. The degree we are trying to raise it to is 2. So 2 plus 2, 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2, two factorial. 1, 2 factorial gets cancelled and there is uh, 3 into 4, 12 divided by 2 is 6 features. So if you look at this, it is 6 features and it created 6 features. x0, x1, x2, x1 square, x2 square and x1, x2. Because we said include bias is equal to true. What is bias term here? x0. If you say include bias term is equal to false, it is going to create 5 features only n plus d factorial by n factor n factorial into d factorial minus 1 okay so we said that the include bias is equal to true so it created the x0 feature so it created six features that's about the intuition on how to do a polynomial regression and we'll see a code example thank you